Hey YouTube, if you have one of these and you're scratching your head and pulling out your hair, you are not the only one. Newbie to go-karts and off-road toys. Um, as you can tell, my garage is, is full of them. Um, and this thing has drove me absolutely crazy. All I needed was a diagram of where these wires go and what they get connected to. So far, every video I've watched has failed to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. All right. So I had one of these black boxes. It's got less wires. The first time I tried it with this one, I couldn't figure it out. I think I fried my uh, solenoid. Um, so I ended up buying another one. I got the red one. It's got five wires. All right. So here we go. First wire ground is yellow and green. You hook that to the frame. Make sure you make good contact. Charge coil. That's going to be the uh, white wire that comes out brown. All right, if you can see the brown there, um, this is going to the charge coil that goes inside of your flywheel. It's going to come out of the side of the motor. All right, this one, red wire. The red wire goes to the positive pole on your solenoid. Right, so when you hook your battery up to your solenoid and you put the positive to it, you're going to put this one on the same pole as that. Magneto, black wire. All right, um, this one is the one that has the two fittings on it. Right, uh, what I did is I cut one off, I spun it around and reattached it on the receiving end. You don't have to do that, but this one is going to your magneto right and this is the wire that comes out of the top of the motor black wire and then your solenoid spade right this is the wire that comes with a spade fitting on it um, and it is uh, what color was it I believe it was black and white um, and so this one is going to the back of the solenoid on the spade fitting right so I had this issue because I bought the motor and it didn't come with a starter on it. Uh, well, it came with a starter, but it didn't come with a solenoid or the ignition box or anything. So I've been playing guessing games, trying to figure out where all these wires go, and there's no diagram that comes with this stuff. So after some troubleshooting, I finally figured out where everything goes, and here's your proof. It turns the motor over, no problem, right? So. If I can help just one person out, um, <laughs> it'll it'll make me feel better for all the headaches that I've been through. So hopefully uh, this helps somebody and uh, enjoy your building experience.